Okay. <coughs> we are on. Okay. Beatrice, could you give me your full name and, and spell it for us, please? Uh, my full name is Beatrice Marie Lemieux. B E A T R I C E. Beatrice Marie, M A R I E. Lemieux, L E, capital M I E U X. My maiden name is Huff, H U F F. Could you spell the Marie again one more time, please? M A R I E. Okay, thanks. And where were you born, <coughs> Beatrice? Uh, I was born in Milwaukee. In Milwaukee? Mm -hmm. And what was the date of your birth? 1928, um, July, July 16th. July 16th? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what are your parents' names? My mother's name is Julia Huff. Uh, her maiden name was Metoxin. Okay. My dad's name was Henry Benjamin Huff. Henry Benjamin Huff? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you know, did you know your grandparents? Did you know their names? Um, I knew my one grandma, Jane, Jane Metoxin. That was on your mother's side? That was my mother's mother, yeah. Did I you knew know her. Anybody on your father's side? No. No? Uh -uh. Okay. Did you, you didn't know Jane's mother? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Did, um, did your parents speak Oneida? Um, my mother, I think my dad spoke Oneida and understood it. And then my mother did also because her mother and father didn't speak English. Oh, okay. But then later on, they were sent to uh, boarding school uh -huh. or wherever. And um, so then they, they made them speak English. Okay. So then in later life, my mother didn't speak Oneida anymore. Oh, okay. And then my dad, he kind of understood it, but he didn't speak it either. Do you know where your mother went to a boarding school? Uh, Toma. At Toma? Toma, Wisconsin. And she lived there? Yeah, she lived there for years. Oh, do you know how, how many years she went to school there? I think she said she went to school there about four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. Because it was all <laughs> altogether new when she came home. She couldn't even talk to her mother when she came home. Oh. Because her mother didn't speak English. Oh, okay. And she stayed there all that while, mm -hmm. the whole four years? Yeah. Okay. What about your father? Where did he go to boarding school? Um, I, I don't know if he went to boarding school, but I think he went to school up here in Oneida. Okay. Do you know uh, which school he went to? I don't know if that was the school that's up there now. If that was the one or... Oh, okay. Because I don't think he went anyplace else. Did you know how far he went in school? Mm, no, I don't know. But I don't think he went very far. <coughs> what about your mother? Did she ever say how far she went in school? No, she never said either. And that was the only boarding school that she went to, was the one at Toma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can you uh, remember when you were growing up, your childhood years? You were born in Milwaukee, you said. Mm -hmm. And did you stay in Milwaukee? No. We uh, came back right away. <coughs> it seems like because we lived with my grandma. And where was that? On uh, Freedom Road. Uh-huh. Um, maybe about two miles before you get to Freedom. Uh-huh. My grandma ha had a house there. Oh, okay. It was a little ways from the school. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the school name was Elm Hill. Mm -hmm. It was maybe half a mile from there. <clears throat> and that's where you went to school? Yeah. And how many years did you go to school there? Um, maybe I went three years there or something like that. And then where did you go? Um, then... My grandma died then, and so then we had to move because I think the state took over her house or whatever. Oh, okay. So we had to move. So my dad moved to Kakana, <coughs> and he worked on a farm there. 
So then I went to school there. Okay, and did you graduate eighth grade there then? No, because we didn't stay there very long, and then he moved to Sturgeon Bay. Okay. And then um, I went to school in Sturgeon Bay. Okay. Did you graduate from grade school in Sturgeon Bay then? Um, I don't. I don't think I graduated from. Maybe I did graduate because I came back to Green Bay and I lived with my cousin mm -hmm. for a while, and then I went to um, um, school in Green Bay, like a NWTC or. Oh, okay. But it wasn't. It was on Broadway. That mm -hmm, school that mm -hmm. used to be on yeah. Broadway. Mm -hmm. I went there for a while. And who was your cousin that you lived with? Her name was Helen Hill. Oh, okay. But she's passed away okay. years ago already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did your mother have any sisters and brothers? Yeah, she had, um, that I knew of, she had three, she had two sisters. She had a sister, Delia, and she had a sister, Florence. But now that we find out, her dad was married, or maybe not married before, and he had four children before. Okay. But they never said who the, who the woman was, who the mother was. Mm -hmm. And then he married. And who were those children? Um, I don't know. You don't know the names? No. And then he, um, after that, he, um, he married my grandma, Jane mm -hmm. Summers. Mm -hmm. She was Jane Summers then. Okay. He married her about 1886, and she was born in 1868. And they had um, 12 children. Oh, okay. So he had four children with his first, if she was his wife, mm -hmm. then he had 12 children. Jane, my grandma, and him. Did you know all the children's names, the 12 children? No. No? I only knew, because my mother never said mm -hmm. she had all these sisters and brothers. I don't know if she didn't know, but how could she not know? Yeah. But <laughs> when you ask her questions, it she never told us anything. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Yeah. But you, but you did find out that there were 12 children in her family. Yeah, there was 12 oh, okay. children in her family. Uh -huh. What about your father's side? Did he have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, he had... Um, um, he had, on my dad's side, there was nine children. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can you give us their names? No, I don't know their names, but my um, grandpa on my dad's side, he was married to a Phoebe Hill mm -hmm. about 19, I don't know what that is. Anyway, she was the daughter of David Hill and Melinda Skinnador. And she was born in 1879. Melinda? Mm-hmm. And that was your grandfather grandfather and grandmother on your father's side? Um, that was the great... Grandmother? The great grandmother. Oh, okay. And then my, my grandmother on my dad's side she was um, Phoebe Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was her name, Phoebe Hill. Oh, okay. What kind of work did your father do? He, when he moved to, well, when he lived here, he done mostly farm work. Mm -hmm. He worked on farms. And then when he moved to Sturgeon Bay, he worked in uh, orchards and uh, stone koi. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And you were mostly raised in Sturgeon Bay then? Yeah. Okay. From there, we lived there the rest of the time then. Okay. And did your mother work outside the home? 
No, she never worked. Okay. When you were growing up, did you have running water and electricity? Um, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we had electricity, but most of the time we didn't have running water. Oh, okay. And where did you get your water from then? Uh, I think we used to have to go to the farmers okay. and bring it home and buy milk cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So originally then you, your father went from Kakana to Sturgeon Bay. Mm -hmm. And then that's where you were mostly raised then was in Sturgeon yeah. Bay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, did your mother ever use any kind of herbs for medicines? Um, no. No? Mm -mm. Okay. What did they do when you got sick? Um, I, I don't, I don't remember of us being sick that <laughs> much. <laughs> I was just telling my sister the other day, I said, I don't remember of going to the dentist when I was small. I remember having toothaches, but I don't ever remember of oh. going to the dentist. Uh-huh. So... I don't know. <laughs> you don't know how they took care of that, huh? No. <laughs> um, when did you get married, and who did you marry? I married uh, Pride Lemieux. Uh -huh. um, I don't even know. I think it was because my oldest daughter is 57 now. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it must have been around that time that I went, I and my husband went to Waukegan, Illinois, and got married. You got married there, but you don't remember what the date was. No, <laughs> I don't remember. I, I think it was March, March something, though. Oh, okay. It was, was your husband Oneida also? No, he was, uh, his dad was French-Canadian. Uh-huh. And um, his mother was Stockbridge, and um, I don't know what else she was, but he was, that's, that's what he was, because he couldn't hardly get on the Stockbridge roads. He oh, okay. just almost didn't have enough. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, what was your husband's name? Clyde Lemieux. Oh, okay. And did you have children then? Yeah, we had, uh, we always lived in Sturgeon Bay, and uh, we had 10 children. Could you give us their names? Yeah, we had um, five boys and five girls. Oh. Yeah, we had Beverly, <coughs> Linda, Donna, Tricia, and Barb, and Ray, and Clyde, and Rick, and Randy, and then we had one little boy that passed away when he was nine months old. Oh, okay. And you always lived in Sturgeon Bay then? Your mm -hmm. children grew up in Sturgeon yeah, Bay? Yeah, my children all grew up in Sturgeon Bay. Okay. When did you come back to Oneida? Um, I think I must have lived here now about maybe 15 years. Oh, you've been back for quite a while then. Yeah, because my one sister <coughs> Violet, she got really sick, and um, her husband had passed away, and so then she had no means of taking care of her, so she had to move here so that they would pay her bills, her oh. doctor bills. Mm -hmm. So then, at that time, my dad passed away, so then I and my mother came and moved here with her. Mm -hmm. So then eventually her, her daughter came, moved here, mm -hmm. and then eventually she passed away. So then I and my mother, we just stayed here then. Is your mother still living? No, she died in um, 90, 95. 95? Yeah, she died. And my dad died in... Um, Let's see. He 
he was born March 16, 1902, and he died, I don't know, I don't even have that on here, <laughs> when he died, but he died before my mother did. Okay. Did we get your brothers and sisters names? No. Could you give us their names? I was the, the oldest, Beatrice Marie Hoff, and then there was Mary Rose, Mildred Ellen, Violet Phoebe, Shirley Ann, Patricia May, and Helen, and Hen Henry. You only had one brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, and um, Carol. Another girl? Carol. Yeah. Okay. There was eight children. There was seven girls and one boy. Are they all still living yet? No. My um, one sister died, um, Violet, she died. And Ellen, she died when um, she was quite young yet, oh. when my mother and them lived here yet. Oh, okay. She died. But otherwise, the rest mm -hmm. are still living. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Do you, do you remember any um, uh, of your childhood years, what you did growing up? Um, no, not too much, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know, I mean, when I lived with my grandma, she always had a garden. Uh -huh. And so we... I kind of always worked in the garden, oh. and, uh -huh. and then we always had a wood stove, so we had a big woods behind our house, and she'd always go out there and bring wood home, so I was always with her. Uh -huh. I couldn't understand her, but I always kind of knew what she wanted, Yeah. but that's about it. But I, I remember she was a, a little short lady, and she was so bent over, you know, oh, she, uh -huh. so that's how I remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember of her ever um, picking any herbs or anything? Um, no, I don't remember no. that. I know she used to go out in the woods a lot, because yeah. there was a big woods behind her house. Uh -huh. And she always grew a lot of flowers. A lot of flowers? A lot of flowers. Oh. Okay. And then she had a garden also then? Yeah, she had a garden. Did she do a lot of candy? <coughs> um, yeah, she, <coughs> she'd done a lot of this drying. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Drying, because I remember I used to see that stuff out there. She had a little shed back there, and stuff mm -hmm. was always out there. Oh, okay. You spent a lot of time with your grandmother then? Mm-hmm. Do you remember how long, how, how much time you spent with your grandmother? Um, I don't know. It, it was just while we lived there with her. Oh, okay. And that was on Freedom Road? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you remember any holidays? How you celebrated holidays? Um, I think we went to, to um, De Pier, to the fair. Okay. I remember we went to the fair. That was a big thing mm -hmm. in those days. Yeah. And my dad and Ma always went to the pier to the movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> and on Christmas, I remember, I don't know if that, if my memory serves me right or not, but it seems like we walked to this church. Okay. My dad belonged to this church. Do you know what church it was? This here one, this the Episcopal. Episcopal Church. Okay. He belonged to the Episcopal, and my mother belonged to the Methodist. Oh, okay. But it seems like we walked here on Christmas Eve. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't phantom walking. You know, that think far? about it now. <laughs> I don't know if we, if I just thought we did, or if we really did. Uh huh. But. People didn't have cars, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 
well, some people did, but a lot of people walked where they wanted to go. Because mm -hmm. I remember we always walked to uh, Vandenberg's. Mm -hmm. My uncle used to play ball there. Oh, okay. So and which uncle was that? Heisen. Heisen oh. with Oxen. Oh, okay. That was on your mother's side, right? Yeah. yeah. So we always walked there and watched the ball games. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you ever go to uh, the Methodist Church with your mother? Yeah, I went. We went there too. In uh, in fact, we were all baptized Methodists except my one sister, Mildred, the one that died when mm -hmm. she was young. Mm -hmm. She was baptized over here, Episcopal. At the Episcopal Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then, the the rest of your your growing up years were mostly spent at the Methodist Church then? Yeah. Oh, okay. What about uh, Christmas besides going to church? Did you celebrate anything at home for Christmas? Um, not really that I, I remember. Did you have a Christmas tree or anything? Yeah, we had a Christmas tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about uh, New Year's? Did you do anything special on New Year's? No. I think um, as kids, used to go ho ho yachting. Oh, okay. Was that mm -hmm. New Year's? Yeah, that was New Year's Day. Yeah. yeah, we used to we used to do that. I know. Oh, okay. Did you get a lot of stuff when you went ho yachting? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Halloween. Right? Yeah. Okay. Any other holidays that you can remember? Like the Fourth of July or anything like that? Did they have parades or anything that you went to? I don't remember going to no parade. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you work ever outside the home? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. When, when you, uh, si since you left here and came back to Oneida, did you notice a lot of changes when you came back to Oneida? Yeah. Well, when I, when we came back, it was so much different. Uh -huh. than when we lived here. Mm -hmm. Of course, I never lived in Oneida. Yeah. Uh -huh. I lived out there, but, and it was, it seemed like it was kind of hard to get to know people. Oh, I mean, okay. yeah. you, it took a long time mm -hmm. for us to get to know people. Then when we did get to know people, they always kind of said, oh, I know that person. I think I'm related to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what other kind of changes did you notice? Were like there more the buildings and stuff more like buildings that? and well, a lot of different changes. The buildings that I used to see aren't there anymore. You know, uh -huh. a lot of places and a lot of places are built up mm -hmm. since then. Was the health center here when you moved away? Um, I don't think so. No? No. So that would have been new to you mm -hmm. when you came back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where do you live now? Um, up by the elderly center on um, Overland Road there. Oh, do you live in the elderly apartments? Yeah, okay. across from the health center. Health center. Okay. All right. Have you ever had any involvement with the tribal government? No. No? Mm -mm. Did your parents ever talk about the um, New York land claim? No, they never talked about no? that. Oh, mm -mm. Okay. Did you? Were you aware of it? Um, no, I don't think so. Not until we moved here. Then you did hear about it after yeah. you moved back here. We always hear a lot of people that got a check for 52 cents. Did you get those checks? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. No matter where you lived, you yeah, got them. I got them. <laughs> uh, do you have any hobbies that you do, or do you make any crafts? Uh, no. No? I don't make any. Okay. Did your, did your parents, or, or, well, your grandmother couldn't have told you anything because she didn't speak English, but... Did your parents ever tell you any uh, stories or legends about Oneida? Mm, no, 
No. Mm -mm. My my dad when when we moved to Sturgeon Bay, my dad had like no communication with his relation. Oh, okay. The only one that we really knew was his youngest brother, Tom. Uh -huh. Tom, huh? Uh huh. Because he, him, and his wife and their kids used to come to Sturgeon Bay and visit us. Oh, okay. Otherwise, we didn't know his other brothers uh -huh. or any any of his relations. Oh, okay. Do you uh, use a lot of the uh, elderly programs that are in place that the tribe has put in place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Well, I um, go on the buses when they go on these trips, uh -huh. and uh, I go to the meal site, and I go to the to the other places where they have bingo and crafts and. They do different things. Okay. And they take you on a bus to these places? You can go on a bus if you don't have a car. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. If you were to tell the uh, children today uh, what would be good for them or what they should be doing, what would you tell them? I would um, tell them that they should stay in school mm -hmm. and um, make use of the, the grants that they could get mm -hmm. to feather their education and to go on. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them don't do that. Mm -hmm. They're not making use of all the things they could be doing. Mm -hmm. But And it's important today. Yeah. It's very important today because you can't even get a job if you don't have a high school diploma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what do you think about the per capita? Well, I think I think it's okay right now. Okay. What about the uh, the gaming? Do you think it's helped the community? Oh, I think so. In what ways do you think it's helped? I think it give, gave a lot of people work mm -hmm. and otherwise what what would they be doing yeah and a lot of people that didn't have the high school education in order to keep their jobs they had to do, go to school and mm -hmm. get that mm -hmm. and so I think it helped a lot of people mm -hmm. do any of your children work in the gaming area no no okay are, are they all living back here in Oneida now no most, all my children live in Sturgeon they Bay. They still live in Sturgeon <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Except my oldest daughter, she lives in California. Oh, okay. You get to go and visit her once in a while? Uh, I haven't been there for about five years oh. or so. But uh -huh. I, I, after my husband died, I was thinking about moving out there, but I went out there for a while and mm -hmm. it didn't suit me, so I came back. Do you have grandchildren? I have 23 grandchildren. 23 grandchildren. And 26 great-grandchildren. 26 great-grandchildren. Yeah. Okay. You got I'm, all their names? No. I had, I had my daughter call up California yesterday and see how many I had there. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know all their names? No, because I haven't seen some my granddaughters. I have two granddaughters and one grandson that live in California, and I haven't seen them for years and years. Oh, okay. So, my daughter had to call up and see <laughs> <laughs> see how they were, <laughs> see how they were, and how many children they have. <laughs> have you ever been uh, on any kind of committees or anything for the tribe? Mm, no, no. Mm -mm. Did we miss anything? Not that I can think of. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I want to thank you mm -hmm. for coming and doing this interview with us. And um, when it's done, I will. I'll 
keep getting the video to you, mm -hmm. a copy of it for you. Okay? Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Uh, no, I'm...